Stagnancy, boredom, depression, repetitiveness, monotony, dullness, and routine are all words that impose themselves on modern day humans. In today's video, I want to talk about how to inhibit these words from consuming your life and start on the path to growth. You often hear about people wanting to change, typically change for the betterment of themselves, whether that be for a workplace related situation, it might be for a partner, or it just might be to improve their own quality of life. And change itself is something that can be quite intimidating. It can be this really big, scary thing that we are trying to accomplish and we often fail at. We fail because we think change is immediate. We don't take into recognition that change itself is a process. And it's really a byproduct of growth. Growth is something that you continuously work on day in, day out, on a conscious and a unconscious level. And these mechanisms around growth is ultimately which actually leads to change. Now, how is it that we go about making changes to our life in order to work towards the life that it is that we desire? The first thing that we need to address is where it is that we're currently at. Most people are at the place that they are due to the circumstances, the experiences, the habits, the routines that they've allowed themselves to experience in life to really bring themselves to the place that they are right now. Your sum total of your actions and your actions towards the experiences that you faced in life is why you are in the position that you are right now. The more that you can start to look at these experiences as the sum total of why you are in the place that you're at, the more that you can start to look into the future to create the roadmap for what it is that you wish to become. What I'm going to do in this video is simply just provide what I have found useful for myself and some of the experiences that I went through to get myself to be a more growth oriented person and allow myself to make changes quite rapidly in my life. The first thing that I started to employ was getting uncomfortable and getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. This is not an easy thing by any means. Nobody wants to be faced with a uncomfortable situation where more than likely you're continuously experiencing failure but really those are the areas in life where you experience growth. It's through the hardship and the willingness to wanna to push through something and experience something else other than what you're used to is where growth really resides. And what I have found since going through this journey and trying to really embrace failure in my life is I have become almost somewhat addicted to being in uncomfortable situations. These situations really give me good insight into the type of person that I am. And that insight allows me to, in that moment, either make a adjustment or either come to terms with a part of myself as to that is just who I am and I don't want to push past that. A really good example of this is something that just happened previously in my life. I tend to be quite a introverted person and I tend to exclude myself from a lot of social scenarios really out of the basis of just social anxiety. It's not that I don't know how to socialize or put myself into a conversation, it's just at times I feel that it's just more draining to be around a group of people who are having a conversation rather than just being with myself or one other person even just sitting in silence. So I challenged myself. What I did is I reached out to probably the most extroverted person I know and extroverts attract extroverts in case you don't know and I hung out with probably three of the most extroverted people that I know of. And when I was with these people I could see their energy just synergizing off of one another. And I 
I could feel how much that they were just in conversation and just in alignment with one another with how the conversation was going. And it's not that I didn't feel included, it was just at that moment I realized how comfortable I've got with being a introverted and a more quiet individual. So I made that recognition first. I recognized where I was at in that given scenario and then I decided to act on it. I decided to just kind of put myself out there a little bit more and see what happened. And although at the time it seemed like this thing that was really daunting and of course I was afraid of judgment and different things like that, none of those things ever arose. I just set a expectation out there of what I thought was going to happen and as usual that expectation didn't actually dictate what happened in reality. And what I ended up feeling at the end of this is a strong connection to other people, which is something that I had been kind of yearning for for the past few years, I would say. It's, it's been quite some time. And it's been a unconscious desire for me to be able to understand this connection with other people and a fear of not being able to connect with people. But by putting myself out there in a situation that I was uncomfortable, it allowed me the opportunity to not only learn, but to also grow from the situation. And that experience that I shared with those three individuals allowed me to take that experience and transcend it or manifest it into other areas of my life. And I'm at the point now where I'm not running away from it anymore. I'm learning to understand where it has almost a little bit of a stranglehold over me. And I can start to face it a little bit more head on. And it's being able to face the internal talk that you have within yourself and actually start to take action around it is where you're gonna experience some of the greatest discomfort you'll probably ever deal with, but also some of the greatest growth that you'll feel within yourself. And what is ironic about all of this is the more that you experience the uncomfortability in the world around you, the more comfortable you ultimately get with yourself. Anyways, that is all for today's video. It was a little bit of a different style of a video today. I wanted to more or less share a personal experience and see if that resonates with anyone, if any of you guys have shared a similar experience and are attempting to kind of delve into the depths of yourself a little bit more to try to understand yourself and see what it is that it is that you are putting out there and if you're willing to have the courage to face that head on. And it's a scary thing, but it's a very rewarding adventure from what I have found so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel as that helps to bring more like-minded people to the platform. And until next time, I hope you guys are prioritizing and then you're optimizing. Take care. Peace.